All right, YouTube, uh, this is my second attempt at making one of these videos. Kind of got the idea from Chuck. I don't know if you're familiar with any of his videos, but he really does a good job. And I got the idea from him to try and make videos of this stuff. I myself have learned a lot from YouTube videos. I in no way call myself a professional, but if I can help out, you know, with some pointers and stuff like that, so be it. Uh, today, I'm going to be putting some side rails on this trailer. Not a huge project. Just a little something. I'm going to put some angle iron sides on it for one of the teachers at school. Um, kind of excited about this project because it'll be the first thing I've done in my new shop. Alright guys, I got the wires off. I took the spare tire off. The wires you can see are laying here in the front. I got them all pulled through. Um, I'm just going to clean these up and try and get my exact layouts on where my upright pieces need to be. Um, I'm going to be using my new toy. I just got a TSC the other day. It's an air sander. I really lucked out on this deal. I paid 10 bucks for this thing. It's on sale. Um, I'm curious to see how my 15 gallon air compressor is going to keep up with it. But I uh, guess we won't know until we try it. Alright guys, what I'm doing now, um, I had to cut a couple little pieces off in here. Just stuff that's going to be in my way. I'm just going around and getting this all cleaned off. Um, I got the grinder out. Grinding some of this rust off. This is the worst thing about working on old stuff when it's rusty. I still haven't quite decided yet if I'm going to use the stick welder or the MIG. I'm starting to think stick might be the way to go just because there's rust and stuff and they handle it a lot better. But uh, I'm just going along cleaning up these, these sides so we can get somewhat of a decent lead. And I think is what I'm going to do. Decide I'm going to mount the front and the back. And then the two that go in the middle, I'm going to wait and then just push those up to the top of this tight. Uh, I've got these longer pieces here. I'm going to go along the side like this. And then, uh, I actually kind of lucked out when I got the steel. I went to pick it up and it actually gave me an extra piece. So that worked out all right for me. I'll find something to do with it. I'll probably end up making some racks or something for the uh, shop here. But I'm going to have to cut these in. I'm not sure if I'm just going to notch them yet or if I'm going to go ahead and miter them together. But that's where I'm at so far. Uh, hopefully I'll have this done in a couple hours. Shouldn't, shouldn't take too long. All right, guys, uh, right here on the front of the trailer, see there's that expanded metal with that piece of angle iron. Um, in order to get a good solid mount, I'm gonna have to use the sawzall and cut that out. Uh, this would be a perfect application for a torch, which I don't have. So I'm gonna bust out the little Milwaukee sawzall, put the metal blade on it, and uh, cut that back. What that'll let me do is that angle iron right there is real thin. I'm gonna be able to mount this to the frame, but it's gonna be the only one across the front. So I'll go ahead and cut that out and then we can run it all the way to the bottom just like the rest of it's getting done. Maybe. Alrighty guys, so I think I'm to the point now. I'm ready to start tacking these on. Like I said, I'm gonna do the two ends first. I just said I'm gonna go ahead and tack them with the main. Just because it'll be a lot easier to try and hold stuff and tack rather than I'm going to try to strike an arc that can be kind of a bitch sometimes. So, got it all set up. Um, and then you find somewhere kind of clean with this ground clamp. I'm just going to make a spot real quick. Okay, I'm going to grind out a little flat spot here on the bottom side. close to where you're working as possible and on clean metal. The thing with angle iron is, and let me get just two pieces and show you, it's not a perfect 90 inside of it, so when you're doing angle iron you either have to grind the tops or hold it up just a little bit. And I don't know if you guys can see this right here, but the way it fits up, 
See that gap right there? And if you try and push it in, then it comes off like that. So you gotta just hold it up a little bit, and then you know you're using a mega or whatever, you can easily fill that. Or like I said, you could grind this edge right here, and that get that little half half round piece right there. But I'm just gonna hold it up a little bit. I think that'll work just as well, and uh, shouldn't be too bad. I'm anxious to get it all tacked together and then I can just start rolling well and stuff. That's what it's all about. But. I'm going to start at the back and I'm going to hold these flush with these uh, vertical pieces here. And then I'll move up the front and whatnot. Everything stayed pretty square at this whole thing. I've been you know, checking with the square. Alright guys, I got a lot more of the fit up done. Um, I think I'm about to go crazy, just break out the welder and just go nuts. I got all these pieces, I had to cut them a little bit. Of piece up underneath there that went on the fit, so I got those four more ready to tack into place. And do that, and then I got this channel to tack into place and weld solid. It's going to need cut down. I'll just use the saw for that. And once I get the welder out and set up, we'll, you know, show you guys for those of you that don't weld. You know, if you want to get some ideas and some pointers for stuff like that. Um, on this material, it's not super thick, but I'm going to have to run vertical up. And the only downside to run vertical up on thin material is the heat builds up as you get to the top. So if you take too much time, you're going to get to the top and you're going to burn through. Uh, 718 and stuff like that, it's, it's really tricky to run vertical down and not get porosity problems because as you're going down that slag's chasing you down and if it gets in front of the arc you're just going to have holes in it and everything else and you're going to have to grind it out and restart. So I mean I'm, the only time you really use that is when you're using really thin like sheet metal and then you're just going to keep a real steep angle and go fast but I think I'm just going to use 70, 18, 3, 30 seconds and just kind of weave my way up to the top and if all else fails I'll just use the MIG I guess I'm sure I can uh, make something work with that. But I'm definitely going to try and do the tight fit up pieces with the stick welder just because. And yeah, that's about it. So I'm going to get some stuff laid out here. And when I get it all set up, I'll flip the camera back on. Alright, guys, you can probably hear in the background, I got the stick welder fired up. Uh, I got some Hobart 718 little hydrogen electrodes and I'm gonna see how it runs on this first joint right here. I can't help this one without some pointers. I think the 718 electrode, you get one good start and then you're done. So let's see what happens. This stuff looks rather thin. personally like about a half electrode. They seem to be a little easier to work with, manipulate. Like I said, the key is focus your arc down on the thicker part because we know it's an eighth inch thick or whatever. So.
just made it up and I like it. Right? But the way played out, so yeah. All right, guys, uh, I'm just about done with this trailer project. Um, I went ahead and ended up stick welding most of it. I wasn't super stoked about the results I was getting. I think it's mostly just because that metal is still a little rough. Um, the channel I was welding to is a little thicker, so it's hard to get the heat right. I mean, I'm not trying to make up excuses, but all these things kind of play into how your weld turns out. Um, I went ahead and put the channel on the back. Here's some of the, what I got. I mean, they'll hold, no doubt, but they're not as pretty as I'd like to see them. Um, you know, you can see, like I said, they're, they're not as pretty as I'd like to see, but here's the channel I went ahead and put on here. That way we'll be able to, you know, as you can see, I just kind of slid a board in there to see how it was going to work out. But, uh, for the most part, I think I'm going to call that a wrap. Get my shop cleaned up, go in, get some other stuff done, but uh, thanks for watching guys.